I just got off the phone with someone who told me that they quit their job and that now the company that they worked for, they're actually still working for, they said, this company wants to do an exit interview. And they asked me, Lou, what do you think? Well, I told them they absolutely positively do not do an exit interview. In this video, what I'll do is I'll share with you the reasons why I think there's no upside, why it's a bad idea to do an exit interview. That, my friends, that's up next, right after this break. Welcome back to Over 50 TV. Now, if we've never met before, my name is Lou Reyes. I'm the publisher of Over 50 TV, where we provide the latest work and money news to people who are over 50. Now, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. It's underneath your screen. There is also a little bell, a notification bell. If you hit that little bell, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be notified in your inbox. So I'm going to tell you why I think you absolutely positively never, ever want to do an exit interview. Okay, now let's just say you are leaving the company and you were asked by your manager or the HR department, somebody there said, hey, we'd like to do an exit interview with you. Let's schedule that. Well, first thing you want to do is tell them politely, no, thank you. I uh, gave you my letter of resignation and I think that pretty much describes uh, exactly how I feel about uh, about uh, the company, and uh, I really am grateful for the opportunity to work here. And that's it. If they push it, use politely. Once again, you'll say thank you, but I have a headhunter. The headhunter I work with just suggested it. You know, it wasn't really necessary that I'd given you my my letter of resignation, and that that's where I would leave it. And, and let me tell you exactly why. I think giving an exit interview is a bad idea. So let's just say that you're working at the company and that you haven't been happy for a long, long time. And every day you go in there and you just can't wait to leave. So you finally give your notice. They ask you to do the exit interview. You go in there and you go in and you think when you're going into that interview, you think, well, you know what? I'm just going to go in there and I'm going to be cool. I'm going to be calm. I'm going to be polite. And I am just going to say some couple things of why I'm leaving the company. Well, next thing you know, as you're being cool, polite, and trying to be calm, it starts stirring up some of the memories, some of the reasons why you know you got to get out of there. And all of a sudden, you find yourself spewing out stuff that you really wish you weren't saying. You feel it. You know it's true, but you're just telling them things that you know or you probably should know that you shouldn't say when you're leaving a company. So what happens to that stuff? What you're saying, what happens is it gets written down, it gets put in your file by the HR manager, and maybe they're even going to look at you as you're, as you're telling them all these reasons why they're working, they, the HR manager, is working for a bad company. Maybe the whole time they're staring at you and they're kind of stunned and they're thinking, what is going on here? Was it really this bad? Chances are they won't believe what you're saying. They're going to think, well, this isn't that bad. Or maybe they do believe it and they know it. Well, if that's the case, then why in the heck are you in for an exit interview? They already know the reasons why. But there's no upside. There's no benefit to you to give an exit interview. You may say things you don't want to say. It's going to end up in your personal file. And then what happens if down the road, down the road, what happens is somebody happens to call for reference. Let's just say you're applying at a new company a year or two years down the road. You're applying at a new company. That new company, they call for a reference. And what's the first thing that happens? The HR manager or the junior HR manager or somebody in personnel will go in, pull your file out. They'll see all this stuff. And then right away, what's going to happen is if they're on the phone talking to them, they may be thinking, you know what, I, maybe I should just tell this new HR manager I should tell them about this employee. Now, they absolutely positively should not be doing that, but you don't know if that could happen. So why? Why put it out there? Why burn that bridge, which is what you're doing as soon as you're telling them why you're leaving and how horrible that company is? Even though you know, as I mentioned, even though you know you shouldn't be doing it, it's not to your benefit, there's no upside, you've done it, you've burned a bridge, now... That company, that HR manager is talking to the new company, the potential new company, and they're telling them things. They're telling them things that they shouldn't. 
And no matter what we say or think, I, I've seen this happen. I've hired hundreds of people in my career as the owner of a, of a chain of business to business magazines. I've interviewed at least 10 times that many. And I can't tell you how many times somebody has told me that this has happened to them, that they applied at a company, they applied somewhere, and that they, they found out later that they, they, they got a bad reference from the company they worked at before. It's not worth it. Don't burn the bridge. If anything, what I suggest that you do is just politely, politely decline, decline to give that exit interview. That just saves you both a lot of hassle. Now, now here's another thing that I really want you to keep in mind. If that company, if they truly, truly cared about you, if they really wanted to know how you feel, don't you think they would have asked you that while you were working there, while they thought you were a happy employee, while you were while you were okay, while you were certainly fine to work? Then don't you think over time, multiple times, they would have said, hey, how's it going? What's going on? Let's talk. Let's chat. If they didn't bother asking you that before, why do you think, why do you think they really want to know how you feel? There's no benefit to you. Again, I said it. There's no upside. I wouldn't do it. it it's, it's not any benefit to you. And you never know down the road where that information will land and, and who will hear about it. It's not worth it. Now, now, here's another thing that did come up in the conversation that I mentioned that I had with somebody. And what they said to me was this. They said, Lou, I know they're going to ask me. I know they're going to ask me where I'm going. And what do you think? Should I tell them? Well, that's another one of those absolutely positively things that you don't want to say. Why bother? Why say it? The last thing you want, and I've, this is another one of those things that I've seen over time, and I've heard about from many, many people. And I've, as I mentioned I was the owner of a chain of business to business magazine, so I talked to a lot of business owners, small businesses, medium-sized uh, businesses and corporations. And that's something that happens, and it, it happens frequently, or I should say infrequently, but it does happen, is you tell the HR manager where you're going. And if for some reason, some reason they feel like, I've got to let this new company know about him or about her, why would you even risk that? It's not worth it. They may say something, maybe not intentionally. Maybe they run across that company and they say something. Or maybe what else happens if you talk to one of your co-workers and a co-worker who's just jealous that you're leaving or, or anxious that you're leaving and, and, and just thinks, you know what, I, I just got a call there. I, I have seen this happen. I saw this happen between two uh, a gentlemen who worked at a retail company who I spoke to. He worked at one retail company, a large chain, and he left that one to work at an even larger chain. And what happened was he had told an employee about you know, he was where he was going. That person told another person who, who happened to have some animosity towards that guy. And it ended up getting back his job, his performance at the job, or, or I would almost say lack of performance, was all highlighted and told to the new company. He ends up not being hired there. He ended up going thinking he was going to be hired, and they just rescinded the offer and said, no, we, we don't need you. There's no upside to telling anyone that. What I would suggest you do if somebody says, well, where are you going? What will you be doing? Here's what I would say. I'd say, you know what? Uh, I have a headhunter. I've spoken to them, and they just said that once you get settled, once I'm settled, then it'd be great to go ahead and just, you know, I can give you a call back. Uh, once I'm settled, let you know what I'm doing, what I'm up to. And uh, I'd be happy at that point to, to chat with you. But for right now, let me just get settled in my new job and I'll be, I'll be in touch. That's all you got to do. Whether you intend to or not, you're looking out for your best interest. There's no upside to telling them that. Why risk it? So in my mind, in my mind, do not give an exit interview. It's the easiest thing to just say, hey, I put together my letter of resignation. Please go ahead and look at it. I am so grateful for this opportunity. So that's all I got for you. Uh, and I, uh, again, I just had that conversation and I thought, boy, I really should share this with you. And I, I'm so glad I have, the, I have the opportunity to share that conversation with you. And I hope you will really consider this advice. I also hope that you will subscribe to our channel. And again, hit that notification bell because if you do, if you hit that, every time we upload a new video, you'll be notified in your inbox. Well, as I always say, have a great day, everybody.